Hey, Power Forwards. So I look like a little bit of a hot mess right now. Actually, it's because I just woke up and I'm not dressed in the slightest. Um, my hair's still not done. Um, I'm in a blanket because I'm cold. It's been kind of chilly in New Hampshire lately. Uh, actually, very chilly. Um, yesterday it was in the low 50s. So, <laughs> so why, PJ, you might be asking, why are you doing a video so early? And the answer is because I had inspiration to. There is a, um, the Hockey Summit, World Hockey Summit, uh, sponsored by Molson, just went on and is still going on. Uh, started Monday and it's going to keep going on for the next few days. And there's basically what the World Hockey Summit is. It's a lot, it's all hockey's moving and shakers, all of their big guns are getting together and they are discussing how to make the game more universal and de uh, deciding on transitions between the NHL and the KHL and all these different leagues and trying to figure out how we can make the game an international sport. Because we all know that hockey is not soccer, it is much better. But uh, one of my biggest my biggest points that uh, I always love to watch is the debate between the big ice and the small ice. This is the fact that uh, the NHL focuses on a 200 foot by 85 foot rink and the international leagues have a 15 foot wider rink. Um, as a hockey player, I have experienced both rinks. and. Um, I can tell you right now, I hate the international rink. Uh, the Amherst Center, which is where my team plays and practices, uh, we practice on a, an NHL, NHL rink. And that's where all our hockey players practice, and that's where most of our games are. We get an NHL rink. And when we have to. Unfortunately, we have played on the Olympic rink, and the Olympic rink is usually only used for midnight skates and get-togethers in the community. So, I have played on both. I can say that, personally, I hate playing on the international rink. It is bogus. I hate it, hate it, hate it. And I can tell you why, because that 15 feet when you're doing a line change really sucks. And it really makes you feel like almost you're not going anywhere. You can be skating as hard as you can, as fast as you can, and you feel like just because it's so wide, it's like driving down a, a wide straight road. You're not going anywhere. So that's what I hate about the international rink. However, when I think about the NHL and I think about the game of today, I think that the inter Danny Heatley said that the international rink doesn't suit his game. Um, which fine for him, but I think that uh, the international rink might actually suit the game of today, which is what they were talking about because the 100 by 85 foot rink was designed for much smaller players. I really didn't think of that. What I thought, considering the argument, was the uh, the Wayne Gretzky rule, which is because the Oilers, being the conniving bastards they were back in the 80s, what they did was they would just pull penalty after penalty, fighting majors and whatnot. So it was three on three battles, so there was more open ice. And the more open ice you had, the more that their talented forwards, the uh, Wayne Gretzky, Coffee, and uh, that line, they were all such great stick handlers, such great puck handlers, skaters, that they could really run circles around their opposition. So the, the league said, this is fucked up, and we're just going to take that out of there. I think that in our in today's game, with how fast the game has gotten, I think that that open ice, that 15 feet extra, would really make a difference. Um, it would make that game much more exciting, a lot prettier. I mean, if you if you're concerned at all about pretty passes and whatnot, that would be wow. I mean, just think about it. There'd be so many colorful deeks banging off the boards, passing yourself, you have all this extra room. You could see Sidney Crosby, Alex Ovechkin, uh, hell if you're a Sabres fan, Derek Roy doing things that they never were able to because there's no space. But anyway, so that's what I always thought. I always thought that the big ice would be better for today's game because people are more skilled, they're moving faster, they're 
they're passing like crazy. Sam Gagne's soft hands. I mean, you guys know I'm always gonna name the same name. So <laughs> that's what I think. I mean, I thought that the Olympics really showcased a lot of talent, just because you have that 15 feet extra. And also, I think the fit, the extra 15 feet really keeps players a little bit more on their toes. I mean, I, I said in one of the episodes of the net, Yaromir Yarger was thinking about coming back to the NHL, and his age was obviously a concern. And I said, if he can play on the big ice in a professional league, then why can't he play, play on our small ice? That's all for now. I just wanted to bring up that. What do you guys think? Do you think that the big ice is better or the small ice is better? Um, leave your comments below and I will be sure to comment back. I am actually really concerned about this issue and that's all for today. I guess we're signing off. Have a good one, Power Forwards.